Welcome in today's video. We are talking about the importance of thinking from the end, especially if you want to manifest your dream life or whatever it is that you are manifesting. So this is actually uh, something that I learned from Neville Goddard. His teaching, Law of Assumption, is talking about the importance of living from the end. So what does it mean? Think of your dream, your vision, your end goal. What is it that you want to manifest? Now close your eyes and imagine it's already here. How would you feel? How would you act? How would you behave? That is exactly the definition of the end. As you start behaving as it's already here, as you start behaving as it already happened, as the wish is already fulfilled, then you start actually living from the end. As you start living from the end, you are essentially embodying the new identity of yourself who is already there. And living from the end means that you embody the frequency that is important to create that whatever that is you want to create. As you know, we are all creating by frequency. We are creating by merging with the frequency of that reality we want to manifest. In quantum field, everything is energy. And in fact, it's pure potential. And we are choosing that preferred reality based on the state of consciousness we are in. And so how do we change this state of consciousness? We change the state of consciousness by changing our thoughts, our beliefs, in other words, uh, our feelings, and as a result, our actions. So these three needs to merge. And as you do that, you basically embody your, your new version, your new identity. That specific identity that would already experience the reality you want to manifest. So if you want to, let's say you want to manifest your dream partner. So instead of actually thinking and feeling and behaving like you're still single and you are struggling and you are tired and you are upset about all these men out there or women out there and you think that there are no good men out there, blah, 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 you switch. You switch and you start feeling, acting like you are already, you are already in loving relationship. So perhaps you need to buy a king size bed to your apartment. Perhaps you need to... Uh, clean your closet and make space for his or her clothes. Perhaps you need to organize your life so you actually have more time and space for relationship. But basically you start behaving like that new you. New you who is already in relationship. And I remember I did this thing when I was manifesting my husband that I actually decided I'm no longer available to date men or go on dates or just randomly talk to whoever approached me because I knew exactly who I was looking for. And so I started to act like I am already in a relationship. I was committed to one person. In fact, I was committed to my husband. And so it, it was quite interesting to see because there was a time in my life that I was like so introverted and I was so close and I was not even open and people would tell me but you should open yourself up and go on dates I'm like no first of all it was pandemic so I didn't really have a choice but second of all I was actually joking and I was saying actually I'm gonna do it differently this time I'm manifesting my husband through quantum field and I don't need to go anywhere and that's exactly how it happened I didn't go anywhere he came to me and it was beautiful manifestation. He bought my book and we connected and that, that's exactly how it happened. Effortless. I didn't do anything. Not, nothing. No dates. Nothing. Three months later, I was already engaged. Three months after that, I was married. And so you need to start acting and behaving from the place it's already here. Not from the place like it will come one day. It will come sometime in the future. No, 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 no. Because we are manifesting only through this present moment, you need to be rooted in this present moment. In other words, you have to accept it and it is done right now. It's already done right now. Not tomorrow, not in a week, not one day when you're ready, right now. And looking back at this relationship, I know why I manifested him. Because I gave myself permission finally to manifest him. Before that, I still felt like I wasn't ready. I felt like I was not good enough. I felt like I needed to be this or that. And so once I actually drop all of that nonsense, expectation, limiting belief that I need to become 
something else. And I fully accepted myself. I know that was the moment when I opened up the space in the quantum field, in my field, in my aura, whatever you want to call it, and I manifested my husband. And so for you to behave like the new version of you, only you know how you're going to behave. I don't know you. You know how you're going to behave. So ask yourself, how am I going to feel if it's already here? What am I going to do if it's already here? How is it going to look like in my life, day-to-day life, if it's already here? Whether it's a relationship, money, prosperity, new job, new business, all of it. How are you going to feel? How are you going to act? How are you going to talk? How are you going to, how are you going to dress? Where are you going to live? And that is the answer, who you need to become. And the next question is, how can I become this person? What do I need to do right now to become her or him? And that's your answer. So let me know your thoughts in comment section and I will see you in my next video. Have a beautiful day.